with this question. Here's all the questions that we are going to be doing, but I will split them up over different pages just so we have a bit more space to work with. So here we go. So we are given a following, the following number pattern, okay? Um, the first question for two marks says write down the next two terms. So we need to just try check, is this linear or is it quadratic? So if you have one, uh, let's write it a little bit smaller over here. Um, well, no, we're probably gonna have to, oh, in the next question, we're gonna have to work out the formula. Okay, so one minus three minus nine minus 17. So we need to see what the difference is will be. To work out the difference, you always take the number on the right minus the one on the left. Not the left minus the right, it's the right minus the left. So that's going to be negative 4. Here you're going to say minus 9, be careful, minus 9 minus minus 3. So that becomes minus 6. And then this one will be minus 17 minus minus 9. And that becomes minus 8. To go down to the second difference, you take this one minus this one. So that'll be minus 6 minus minus 4. And so that's going to be um, negative 2. And then this one would also end up getting negative 2. So because the second row is remaining constant, this is a quadratic number pattern. So the first question says write down the next two terms. So what you do is you just carry on. So you see how it goes minus 4, minus 6, minus 8. Well, the next one would then be um, minus 10 and then minus 12. So that'll help you to work out this value and this value. So minus 17 minus 10 is going to give us minus 27. And then minus 27 minus 12 is going to be negative 39. So the next two terms would be negative 27 and negative 39. This question says, determine the general formula or general term. Now, you need to be getting full marks for this question because this is a very easy question, um, very basic, um, where we've done many examples of this, okay? Of course, you could make a little mistake in the test where you make like a silly error or whatever, but in general, like something like this, you need to be smashing, okay? So we know that there's these formulas we use. So 2a equals um, 3a plus b equals and then a plus b plus c equals. So let's go write those all down. So, um, well, let's start, you always start at the bottom here. So um, <laughs> whenever I say that, I always want to be like, start from the bottom, now we're here. But I do that all the time. So I think it's getting a bit old now, but I can't help it. My mind just does it, okay? Um, and then for some reason, whenever I say that, my mind's like another one by, um, what's that guy? DJ Khaled. I don't know. My mind just, it's been looping on that for like years. Whenever I do these maths questions, certain parts just trigger like a little brain synapse in my head. Um, sorry. So, <laughs> so Kevin, you're so weird. So 2a is equal to negative 2. Um, then uh, a would be negative 1. Okay, now you come up to this next um, part of here. And so that's going to be uh, 3a plus b equals to negative 4. And so, oh, it's a stupid song in my head right now. I'm not going to sing it, don't worry. 3 times a, it's that, okay, it's that song that, uh, my, this is so embarrassing. Um, how does it go? It's like, came up to a dinner. I did it, I did it, I did it, did it, did it, did it. I don't know the exact words, but I did it, I did it. I don't like the song at all, but it's just in my head right now. I think it's quite, yeah, I don't like the song. It's stupid. Um, I mean, for me, it's just boring. It doesn't have any, like, doesn't hit me. So, you know, I sound like I'm probably, like, like, that song is pretty old, but, like, I don't know. It's still in my head. Okay, so 3 times um, A is negative 1. And then plus b equals to negative 4. And so now we just solve. So we end up with negative uh, 4 um, plus 3. Because this becomes negative 3, you take it over to the other side. And so b would end up being negative 1. Okay, negative 1. Now you come up to the last step. So you go a plus b plus c equals to 1. And so a is negative 1. b is negative 1. 
it goes to one. Okay, now if you had to go take C over to the other, I mean, if you had to go take the minus ones over, you should eventually end up with C as three. Now we know that a quadratic formula is a n squared plus b n plus c, and so let's just write that a little bit better. Okay, so a is going to be uh, negative one, b is negative one, and c is three. Now always go and check yourself. So the way that you check yourself is you choose one of these. Now don't choose the one in the beginning. Um, there's just a higher chance that you might get the same answer, but it's actually going to be wrong. Rather choose something more complex. So let's choose this one. Now that is at position one, two, three, and four. Okay. So um, what you do is you go plug in position four into this formula. So that means all the n's become a four. Remember that minus one is not part of the n, so it stays on the outside like that. Okay. Um, and then four, and then plus three. And then if you had to work it out, we end up with uh, negative 17. So negative 17. And so because we're getting the same, we're good. Okay, so let's move on. Okay, so let's just remember what our formula was. It was negative n squared, take away n, add three. So it says, um, determine the value of the 30th term, okay? So now some learners don't know, do we plug 30 here or do we plug 30 in the place of n? Well, let me quickly show you a sequence. So, well, let me show you this. These numbers, these are TNs. These are TN numbers. The position, number one, number two, number three, number four. So let's put that at the top. That's one, two, three, four. Those are N values. Okay. So where would 30 go? Well, they're saying it's the 30th term. So that's an N value. They're not saying this number's a 30. And so... So you're going to go plug in 30 into the place of n, okay? And so that's going to give us t30. Um, so you're going to put a negative, then you're going to put 30. Don't put the negative in the, in the square. It's not part of it. And then negative 30, and then plus 3. And that should give you negative 927. This one says, which term is equal to that? So now you can use your formula again. But now all of a sudden... They're saying it has a value um, of negative 7479. Uh, so that's the value. So you put that here, negative 7479. And then the n, we don't know. We don't know what position it is. So now we just have some type of quadratic formula. So I'm going to take everything to the right. So you're going to end up with that. And then I'm just going to simplify. So we're just going to plus these two together. So that would be 7, 4, 8, 2. I'm then going to divide everything by negative. I just really don't like working with a negative over there. So that ends up becoming n squared plus n minus 7, 4, 8, 2. Anyone feel like factorizing? Nope, I don't. I want to use the quadratic formula, which is then going to be uh, the minus b plus minus square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a. Okay, now um, a would be uh, 1 because a is always the number in the front over there. Uh, b is going to be 1 because that's the number in the front over there. And then c is going to be negative 7, 4, 8, 2. So if you had to go and work that all out and plug that all into the formula and do all of that stuff, ah, it's nice when you end up with a whole number. Then you know you've probably done it right. So you end up with n equals to 86 or n equals to negative 87. Now remember, n is the position, like position 1, position 2, position 3, position 4. So you cannot have a negative position. And so for this one, we'll just put a little cross-cross. And so n is 86.